Hi, do you guys celebrate Pride Month over there? Of course we do! <gasps> We've also got Wrath Month, Gluttony Month, Envy Month, Greed Month, Sloth Month. Oh, make sure to stick it out for Lust Month. <laughs> Hey, Devil and Dice, has any member of your family ever visited the casino? Anyone in my family who would have wanted to come here, first, they'd have to figure out how to get out of the fiery pit they're in. So, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, depends on what kind of family you mean. Uh, Azazel, Labadon, sometimes. They come by to relax a bit, maybe get a few souls, but mostly just to pester me. Well, they, along with a bunch of other princes, will be coming over again for the party that Dice and Lilith talked me into throwing. Lilith, who works at your place? Hmm. Hey, nice boy. I'm Lilith. They want to talk to you. Oh, am I getting interviewed too now? Apparently. Well, in that case, move over, Prince of Darkness. Already leaving. It depends what place you're talking about. I own quite a few. Pretty important Prince of Hell, you know. I have a whole range of demons working for me. Finest chefs and witches. Beautiful musicians and dancers. Exotic, if you prefer. As well as, of course, hitmen, slaves, assassins. I also keep a few of my debtors as little pets for fun. Basically what I own, but not as many. Hey. Hey, Dice. What's your favorite makeup brand? Mm, well, uh... Gin Cosmetics is pretty good. It's made in hell and run by... Azazel? Azazel? Az... Oh. The Cup Rose. If you had superpowers, what would they be and why? We did have superpowers, remember? The whole magical bullets coming out of our fingertips, our souls turning into huge wrestling machines and being able to come back to life? That's what we'd like to have again. And why? Uh, Muggs, you're gonna have to do the whole thing where you get your notes and explain the- Lisprin Helios Talbo Ad Anapsips! What you doing? Uh, trying to summon ancient spirits will bring back our powers. Get out! Okay. Knock before you enter! Just don't tell them where we work, it might scare them away. Uh, okay. <laughs> You know, flying would be a cool superpower. Lilith, are or were you married to Asmodeus? While I'm here, let me just say your art is so freaking cool. Right! Ugh, he wishes. Though I did once trick him into believing we were, centuries ago. He still sometimes acts like we are and won't leave me alone. He actually believes he was the one that tricked you. Ugh, great. Devil, have you ever been in limbo or purgatory? Do you plan on going anytime soon? Of course. I don't go there very often myself, but I do have demons working for me there. Though, Purgatory is mainly a battlefield for us. Uh, let's just call it private family business. But Limbo? Oh, I got a legion of demons there, sneaking entire rivers of souls into hell. Ancient demons, long forgotten, that existed since before history can remember. Much like everything else in Limbo. The place is full of them. They're stale antiques at most, and don't hold a person to them anymore, but hey, a soul is a soul. I'll let you in on a little secret, though. I have a brother who lives in Limbo. He kinda owns the place. Oh, but don't worry. He doesn't mind me sneaking a few souls from there into my wallet. His name is Samuel. People either think he's me or that he's dead. Granted, he did fake his own death. 
But no, really, he's just hiding away in the nonsensical attic of the universe that is Limbo. And I'm one of the only people that know that. This is a question for the devil. If you were given the chance to, would you go back to being an angel? Like, all your wrongs would be pardoned and forgiven? Would you go back? I've been dying to ask this question ever since the first post about the devil being an angel. <laughs> well, good luck! Considering how, uh, according to them, heaven, one of my wrongs, was using my own head and refusing to be a puppet slash experiment. No. I don't want to go back. I've come to realize I would seriously rather rip my own brains out than go back. The only thing I want back is... For the devil, could you please enlighten us with what Sally Sage play and Rumor Honeybottoms wanted when they made a contract? Those two were kind of similar, actually. Rumor's subjects were miserable and struggling. She was overworking them to the last straw. So she made a deal with me so that I would fix it. But here's the thing. You can't just fix something like that without actually making changes to how you rule. She was too stubborn and proud to do that. So instead, I made it seem like everything was better and she was fooled for a while until Realizing how much worse it's gotten. Truly an honorable queen. Sally, uh, she fell in love with a fellow actor who didn't requite her feelings. She made a deal so that he'd be with her. So that's what I made happen. Marriage, family, all of it. Uh, but only in the play. It was all pretend. She got to indulge in her fantasy life with him on the stage. But as soon as the curtains closed, that was it. Well, joke's on you. He did fall in love with her in the end, and now they really are married. Yeah, after breaking the deal that she signed on. But you didn't hold your side of the deal either. What am I to do? Fix all their hardships in life while they stay to their twisted ways? Rumor was an aristocrat, and stage play wanted to force someone into a relationship. That's kind of what you promise to do every time you make a deal. But also, people can change and learn. Yeah, that's exactly what these deals do. They teach them a lesson. How are they supposed to learn their lesson once they're already in hell? Oh, don't worry. They learn their lesson. And then they feel all the guilt, shame, and regret in the world. All while they're burning in hell. So you're not really making these deals to teach anyone anything. You just want to torture people. I don't think the two are mutually exclusive. Also, don't berate me on not holding my side of the deal when you and your brother didn't hold up either when you were supposed to give me the contracts. Okay, but we had a good reason for doing, a morally good reason. <laughs> Morally. We were breaking the rules for the greater good, to save everyone from hell. What if they deserved hell? That's a different topic. Ah, yes. The topic right now is that you two then attacked me in order to get out of debt that you were rightfully in. One, you attacked us as well and challenged Cuphead, which is just asking for a fight. And two, you wanted people to go to hell. That's a morally bad intention, making you the villain, while we had morally good intentions of freeing people, which makes us the good guys. Actually, in that scenario, I simply wanted people to pay their debt, which is a morally neutral, if not good, intention. Thus, I was not the villain. A villain does not always need bad intentions. Some bad people don't think of themselves as bad. What makes them a villain is their actions. Yes. Does that not make you the villain? You may have had an intention you saw as good, but your actions included cheating on your deal, burning the contracts, and committing violence on other people, so you're not free of the villain label either. I agree that we had to do all that, but we, or at least I, did not enjoy it in the slightest. We recognized our actions as wrong, Villains but we- Villains can recognize their actions and still commit them, Mug. Let me finish, Demon. Your evaluation does not consider the context of the debt, and not all of the debt was rightfully deserved. Your debt was. Your debt. In a, what? We're, we're not talking about me, we're talking about the dead- No, 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 we're talking about you. No! Yes, you're strawmanning. I'm not! Dice, judge, the offense is strawmanning! I'm not! And I'm not the offense, I'm the defense! Uh, 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Mugs, you're guilty. Of what? Being wrong. Do not try to debate me on good and bad guys, Mugsy. Morals are more flexible than you might think. And I just happen to be someone that one side of the moral spectrum is based off of. I've existed for longer than the planet you live on. I've rubbed elbows and taken souls from all your favorite philosophers. I hold more knowledge than your brain can even begin to theorize. It's simply impossible for you to know all the things I know. Because you're a mortal. Do you want me to beat you up again? So much for being on the defense. I am so confused.